Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist and in today's video I'm going to be drawing Berta or Berta. However you want to say it. Berta or Bert uh Birder. It's Berta, Birder, or Berta. One of them you pronounce the T, the other one you pronounce a complete different way, and then the other one you just pronounce it like just regular without the T. Um, like really hard to specify which one is the correct way unless I were to hear it again because I can't specify it just, just by reading it. I have to, you know, I have to physically hear it. But... Yeah, Berta, Mr. I claim that I am the fastest in the universe. You want to know what's really interesting? That statement makes no sense whatsoever, right? Because it's implied that the stronger you are, the faster you are. Well, like, you know, like generally your power level, your power level uh is a testament to your how fast you are, right? So, for somebody like Goku, when he goes Super Saiyan, his power increases as well as his speed, and so does his power level. If they go Super Saiyan 2, it increases even more. But if they were to go um, Super Saiyan 1 bulk form, the only thing that increases is like the power, like your like physical power, right? But normally the way it works is your power level is a representation of your overall fighting ability speed power and all right so it's interesting that you have somebody like berta who claims to be the fastest in the universe but you have captain ginyu who uh i think like from what i saw i think he was faster if not him being faster then one person definitively that was faster was frieza and berta still claimed that he was the fastest which like that makes no sense right like is he really considered the fastest if there are people in his direct group that are faster than him is it one of those basketball things where you have like one person that can guard everything but then you have like a tall person that can also guard so you just call the tall person that can guard your best guarder you know what i'm saying like you just give the person the title just because that's what they take claim to rather than being like a real uh, well-rounded individual it's whatever like a lot of people like will give themselves titles even though the titles aren't warranted they just you, they just give themselves the title based off of their experience of what they know so like so an example of that would be uh baros from one punch man that dude came down and he claimed that he was the strongest in the uh, galaxy uh, and obviously that is not a testament to his power because they showed that the the what was it the centipede in the very next season was supposed to be like really really strong right like it took blast to defeat it i think if i remember correctly so i'm thinking to myself like if it takes a hero like that that we still haven't seen then like you really can't, you know, you can't say that Boros is the strongest if that dude was a thing at that time and that monster was a thing at that time as well. That's two people right there. So it's like he gave himself the title based off of like the opponents that he fought. Maybe he fought like a bunch of like scrubs and just, you know, took the title, you know, kind of the same thing with Saitama. But anyway, <laughs> That's a look. That's a that's a discussion for another day. I'm not saying that Saitama is not strong. I'm just saying the people in his galaxy can't compare to people from another show's galaxy. You know, like Saitama can have a strong uh, galaxy, but like let's let's be realistic. Like there was literally a crab dude in season one that he was a crab, and his quote unquote like ability would have been just like 
his pincers just cut you or like break your bones or whatever they would do but like it's not insane right so and there's a few other people like that but like when you look at dragon ball their villains in there like most of their villains are actually like capable individuals except for somebody like emperor pilaf which is just like a just like a regular degular dude right like there are those people that exist like regular people that can commit evils like people are robbing stores and certain uh certain stuff like that pilaf is just one of those people that wants to get the dragon balls to make a wish so he's not even like you know directly like evil in the regards of like oh my power is so like astronomical i can just destroy what i want and i just want the dragon balls to like help with that no but um let's get into this I'ma let you go
broken home I gave you all the bricks that I own and know I'm letting go I'm breaking these walls down Breaking these walls down If you want adventure then fly to home But if you wanna travel then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Yeah, if you're gonna leave I'ma let you go I'm tired of the pain Go away I'm tired of this and time Okay, I am finished with this picture of Berta, the supposed fastest man, the fastest man alive, Barry Allen status. And then he met Goku and was like, yo, why is there this dude standing in front of me and why is he kind of not standing in front of me? Where did he go? Oh God, he's behind me. What do we do? Oh, he's gone again. Okay. <laughs> like, that's probably how people felt when they fought against him previously. And that's why he felt like he was at the top of the world. But he's never fought Frieza. And Frieza's never been in his final form. So that's probably maybe why he thought he was the fastest. And then same thing with Captain Ginyu. Maybe they're, like, relatively the same in speed. But Captain Ginyu is, like, stronger overall. So maybe he never raced like full speed against Captain Ginyu. He just assumed that he's faster than him just by looking because I've seen people run before and I can uh, gauge their ability based on what mine is and determine whether or not I can beat a person. That's possible. So maybe he did the same thing. But uh, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment sections to make it better for you to watch next time. The glove is off. Peace. Love. Thanks for watching.